you guys, Aaron here, and today I'm going to talk about this new Valentine's event, the Davies Roadmap event. This event sucks. Like, Scopely, I praise you for the Marlin and Rosie S Class event, but this event is just terrible. So, basically, how this event works is everyone can do this one roadmap. It only requires world energy, which it requires a lot of world energy, by the way, but you do get one can if you complete, I believe it's like your stage six of the first act. So, you do this roadmap. You get the pink heart for the first act. The second act gives you the WD heart, which is basically energy for the other roadmaps. So you get one pink heart. You can open up one of these roadmaps. There's three of them here. The Ivanova map, Romanov, and Raven map. So you can do all that. You will get to choose one. Each one gives you like a bunch of random gear, trainers, and whatever. Nothing super amazing. I mean, this one gives you mod boxes, bronze mod boxes, like what the hell. But each one rewards you at the end with this straight jacket, which will be used to unlock the last road map. You only get one pink cart for free. The other two road maps, if you want to complete them, you have to spend for it. And this is the offer right now, for me at least. Canadian pricing, so I think it's nine ninety nine USD. This is the offer. You can buy it once. Now I don't know if the next offer after this, because you have to buy two pink hearts. So again, Sculpey is not giving us any information, especially for a fully paid to win event like this. But they're not giving us information on, is the next offer going to cost the same? Is it going to be more? We don't know what's going on. We don't know how much the energy is going to cost. So this is the only offer I've seen so far, nothing else. So assuming you buy the next two hearts, you do all three roadmaps, you get all three straight jackets, then it's this roadmap here. So again requires these WD hearts to complete them. Um, you get a bunch of different choice boxes for gear, which is cool. Now in this in this roadmap, balloons are supposed to drop. So now these balloons, if you go to the mission mission section here, you trade in these balloons for different trainers, tokens, and that kind of stuff here. So 1500 gets you 100 of whatever S-Class item you want, which it's not even all of them, by the way. Princess isn't even in this. Minerva's not in there. 12,000 gets you 300 of whatever S-Class item. And then 50,000 gets you... 50,000 balloons gets you 2,600 of whatever S-Class item. So in total, if you do 50,000 balloons, all this is a bunch of gear and random items and stuff, trainers... And then you get 3,000 S-Class items in total. Here's the issue though. It's a completely pay to win event. You're not showing us the odd drops for the balloons. So who knows what the odd drops are for the balloons. And this requires the hearts. So you have to buy the hearts. And then you hopefully get lucky with the balloons. Now I'm sure someone on the forums will be posting the drops for the balloons sooner or later. But currently I haven't seen anything yet. This is the problem I have. First off, it's a completely pay-to-win event, which sucks. Like, this is a waste of two weeks, because I know they're not going to do another event, because they already have Marlon and Rosie going in this event, so this will be another boring two weeks with no event, basically. I mean, unless you want to pay for this, which I probably wouldn't do if I were you. So the pro the biggest problems are, you didn't, we don't know about the offers, so this is the only offer we have so far. We don't know what the price of the rest of the energy is going to cost, the WD hearts, and we don't know what the price of the next pink heart is going to cost. I imagine the pink cards are not going to be that expensive. But where they're going to get you is when you do the love end road map and the balloons are dropping at a horrible rate because you need 50,000, which is a lot. Then they're going to get you by making you spend more to get just energy. So this event sucks. It's terrible. Only good thing about this event is that they're bringing straight up up front with, you, with us and letting us know it's a strictly pay to win event and you have to pay to complete this event. Where there's, there's been events in the past where it's super grindy and then like you get to the, close to the end of the event and like you realize you have to actually pay a little bit of money to finish the event off. So at least this one's upfront and honest about it. It's completely pay to win. If they didn't do this Marlon and Rosie event and they just had this event going on, I'd be a lot more mad. But the Marlon and Rosie event is pretty solid, I think. Even though I've noticed in the tournament calendar, they're running less tourneys now. Because they know people need to hit the milestones. So I think this week was only three tourneys being ran. 
there's, well, I don't know, because there's War of Champions this weekend, I think. So, like, I don't know what's going on with the other regions or not. If other regions are getting a war or not, who knows. But I think there's only three tournaments running this week. In the past few weeks, there's been four or five, so a very interesting move there. But we'll see how that event goes. Still, I'm still hoping and giving giving Scopely the benefit of the doubt that that's going to be a free, free-to-play free event. But this Valentine's event, on the other hand, completely trash. Stop doing this. Like, come on. But what would have been nice is if you can complete all three roadmaps for free, do the love and roadmap once through, and then and then you can start saying, hey, you need to pay more if you want more balloons or whatever. You need to do the roadmap more times or whatever. So at least everyone for free can see what the balloon drops are. Or you need to be up, more upfront and honest and post the odds for the balloon drops and the, all the offers that are going to be available in the forums beforehand. One or the other. Like... We're going in blind when, we, like, a lot of stuff, we go in blind when we're spending money on this game for certain events. So just more communication there. It's all, it's all I'm asking for. Even if you want to do a pay-to-win event, at least be honest and upfront and be like, hey, these are the odds. This is how much it's going to cost, whatever. Obviously, I know they're probably not going to do that because they want more money. Because if they gave us all the information, less people would spend, probably. But still, let me know in the comments below, though. What do you guys think of this event? Are you guys going for... Are you guys going to be spending money on this or not? I'm definitely not. It's super annoying what they're doing here. Scopely, I know you can do better. Like, come on. Please. But thanks for watching. I want you guys to think in the comments below. Peace.